Now let's move on to indices. Please remember that if you didn't get a firm grasp of area and volume, do revisit that topic. With indices, we're going to be focusing on one main subtopic, the rules of indices. Let's start off with this example. 3 to the power of 2. 2 here is the index. 3 squared is equal to 9 because 3 is being multiplied twice. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. If we have 3 cubed, then we know to multiply 3 3 times. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Okay, now let's move on to the multiplication of indices. 3 squared times by 3 cubed means that we have to add the indices. So 3 squared times by 3 cubed is equal to 3 to the power of 5. Let's move on to division of indices. Look at this example here. 3 to the power of 5 divided by 3 squared means we have to subtract the indices. So 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 to the power of 5 over 3 squared is 3 cubed. Next, bracket multiplication of indices. 3 squared to the power of 3 means that we have to multiply the two indices. So 2 times 3 is 6 and we have 3 to the power of 6. Let's move on to negative indices. Look at this example here. 3 to the power of minus 4. When you see a negative index, the first thing you must do is remember that negative means 1 over. So 3 to the power of minus 4, 1 over 3 to the power of 4. And then you can simplify 3 to the power of 4 by doing 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 to give 81. Our answer is 1 over 81. Next, let's move on to indices as fractions. Let's look at this example here. 16 to the power of a half. When we have a fraction as the index, we must realise that the fraction means root. Because our fraction is 1 over 2, 16 is being square rooted. So 16 square rooted is equal to 4. What if we had 27 to the power of 1 over 3? Well, 1 over 3 means that we're going to root it again. But because we've got a 3 on the denominator, we have to take the cube root. The cube root of 27 is equal to 3. What if we had 8 to the power of 2 thirds? Now there's two things that we must do here. The top the numerator and the bottom the denominator. 8 to the power of 2 thirds means the cube root of 8 all squared which gives you this answer here. Next, what if our index is a 1 or a 0? Let's take this example here. 5 to the power of 1 is 5 7 to the power of 1 is 7. 1 million and 31 to the power of 1 is 1 million and 31. So the answer will always be the base number here. What if we have a 0 as the index? 5 to the power of 0 is 1. 7 to the power of 0 is also 1. 13 million to the power of 0 is 1. So you get the picture. 
Anything raised to the power of zero is always one. Now you have a firm grasp on indices, let's move on to our next topic, standard form.